Indeed, social media is a realm all on its own. This is TMI Socials, and I am Chukufum Nanya Digwe. I will be your guide through the top trending stories and reactions on social media. Let's get into it. For the first one, Nigerian government has sent entertainers, including Tubaba, Basket Mouth, Ola of Lagos, and Rarara, to India as part of a fact-finding mission on CNG, that is compressed natural gas development. This move tied to the presidential compressed natural gas initiative has sparked widespread outage, outrage pardon, online. Critics argue that professionals in engineering, oil and gas or energy fields should have led such a mission, citing concerns over the entertainer's lack of technical expertise. Many Nigerians see this as a misstep, questioning the seriousness of the government's energy transition agenda. Now let's take a closer look at some trending videos that fueled this heated conversation. Thing we steady spending time, time. Argumento, argumento Time You know believe me, I know believe you No need to argue, my guy Go, 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 yeah. Pretty absurd, won't you say? Well, let's take a look at what netizens are saying as regards this trending topic on social media. The first one says, this is quite saddening, to be honest. They didn't send professors of engineering. They didn't send PhD researchers and MSc students in technology from the country's best universities. They didn't send people who have the professional competence to analyze the innovation and recommend it for the public. They sent a lot of Lagos, who we come back just to roll on the floor and scream, put CNG in your car. You will love it. What a shame. Let's check what the next person does say about this one. Optician M says, engineer basket mouth, engineer Olav Lagos, engineer Two-Face, and other well-trained and mannered engineers were sent to India to study the CNG initiative by FG. Engineer basket mouth is angry that they called on Net Ninja to help post his movie so we can see for free. But he is doing PR for a bad government. Let's check on the next reaction on this one. This one says that they can't explain Nigeria to you to make you understand. Nigeria has a board of safety professionals quality assurance experts and engineers, but they chose to send content creators, comedians, and real estate agents to India for CNG quality checks. Who do us like this? Well, who would I ask? Let's check the next trending story on the social media space. This one comes as the Potakos Refinery Rehabilitation Nigeria's Potakos Refinery with a capacity of 210,000 barrels per day is making headlines on social media as it prepares to resume partial production this December. According to Petroleum Minister Heineken Lopobri, the first phase of the refinery will process 60,000 barrels per stream per day, marking a crucial step in reducing the country's reliance on imported petroleum 
project, product. First, let's take the video showcasing this refinery, the PHR refinery, and then we'll take reactions that follow it. On behalf of all of us in NMBC, all the contractors, our board of directors members, that his patience has paid for, and that we will deliver the other projects. Definitely, we are not going to give timelines as he has directed but I can tell you that they are coming up soon. And I'd like to thank all our staff, our contractors and all of us here, that this is history for our country, that we know this is possible. As regulators, we were working hand in hand with the, both the contractor and the client, that's the NMPC, to ensure that uh, it would upgrade, that they comply with the standard regulations in terms of technical and uh, other uh, process uh, uh, facility regulations and um, the result is now the plant is up and running and most importantly like we uh, the MD said earlier if you look at the flare it's very clean there's no there's no smoke so in terms of complying to the environmental uh, regulations they are also complying with the environmental regulations trying to combine uh, an old uh, and existing uh, technology with uh, the latest uh, technology on the market and this is a great innovation indeed now let's check out what netizens are saying just one comment this one from peter ob says i wish to congratulate the nigerian national petroleum cooperation and npc for fulfilling the long-standing promise of revamping the old potaco refinery the refinery which comes on stream today bo boasts an installed production capacity of 60,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Approximately 200 trucks are expected to load product daily from the refinery. He goes on to say, Nigerians now await the corresponding impact and benefits on pump prices and the overall economy. Now that is all we can take on reactions on this one. Let's move on to the next trending topic really quickly. Former Kogi state governor, as you know, Yahaya Bello, remains in EFCC custody following his arraignment on a 16-count charge of alleged money laundering and misappropriation. During Wednesday court session, Bello, along with two co-defendants, pleaded not guilty. His defense argued for Bill, emphasizing his voluntary court appearance while the prosecution opposed citing concerns about potential evasion and the likelihood of repeating offenses. Now let's take a look at visuals of the ex-governor being held out of court and um, before we'll delve into social media reactions on this one. <laughs> Well, that is the video. Let's quickly check out what social media is saying on this one. This one from Mood says, what does this government take Nigerians for? We see through their gimmicks, and yet another one is on full display. The classic, the more you look and the less you see. We've become a nation where theatrics are staged and stage narratives dominate the spotlight, shaping the story of the moment. The Yahaya Bello saga is just the latest in this charade. Well, these people should know that when the mouse laughs at the cat, there is a hole nearby. Well, that's all the reactions we can take on that one. Let's quickly move to the last story on TMI Socials today. UK Conservative Party leader Kemi Badano has sparked a fresh debate about immigration control in Britain. During a recent statement, she emphasized the need to prioritize British citizens. Badano, who herself immigrated 
visitor to the UK from Nigeria advocated for tighter immigration measures to align with British values and support the country's infrastructure. Let's first take a, a video of her remarks and then we'll move on to social media reactions. The truth is that for nearly 30 years, mass migration has been far, far too high under all governments, by all parties, and not just here, too high all across the Western world, and it can't continue. We need a new approach. I'm the new leader of the Conservative Party, and we're going to do things differently. I'm saying no more. The system is broken. We can't go on like this and we need to change. Let's break it down. One, if immigration happens too quickly, there is no integration. The ties that bind us start to fray. It doesn't matter whether you are massively for immigration or massively against, without a shared national identity, our country will suffer. Very funny how a child of an immigrant is saying this. Well, let's move on to social media reactions concerning this. This one from Alex Bloodfire says, the current level of immigration has soared to unsustainable heights, and it's time for us to address this pressing issue with urgency and determination. That comes from a British citizen now saying this one due to what she said. Well, that's all we have for today. Well, quite amazing the last story about uh, Nigerian-born British citizen. Well, all the same is all about curtailing what you can take care of. The more mouth you have to feed, the more difficult it gets for you to really Doesn't doesn't do well for us, though. It doesn't do well. Maybe that's that <laughs> means we have to take care of our own self. Everyone, take care of your country. Take good care of your country. Now, that is a strong message. Maybe everyone pulls towards, like, you know, Trump's direction right now. Make your country great again. Take out illegal migrants so you can really focus on the ones that are productive. Well, let's see how all that will pan out. And, of course, sending our own social media icons, our actors, to go to <laughs> India to do what now? I don't get it. What about the engineers? It's quite what, absurd. Basket, what does you know about CNG? Uh, super, what do you know about CNG and the way they operate in cars? To me, something. Come on, Nigeria. Anyway, Cherry News, NNPC, 70%. Kudos, we have to increase it so at least the fear uh, a price would just come down so that everyone can just gain access to read buy it with ease so that food transition would just come down in terms of prizes well nice stories there nice stories there you go from naya abdu